yes, I'm still alive. Long time no see. I think it's been about three weeks since I've posted a video. I'm gonna be 100% honest. I just wasn't feeling it. Um, and I know that when I'm not feeling it, I don't push myself to post because YouTube is an outlet for me to come to and share my journey and have support and give support and I don't want to force myself to do it. YouTube is also a hobby so I didn't want to push myself and not enjoy it. Um, so I'm hoping I'm back for a little while. Um, I'm sorry for not posting but I'm here today. Um, it is a lazy day. You'll see me Sorry, I just got a text message. You'll see me in my jammies all day. Um, I like to have some lazy days when I'm off and just enjoy the day off because honestly, work has been a lot. Um, it has been since COVID or since I've been back after being laid off. Um, and I just like to relax and do nothing. So today is a what I eat in a day on WW Blue Plan. Of course, I'm gonna post all plan points. Um, a little recap, I will post a picture here um, from, I can't remember, I'm horrible at dates, you guys. Let's see, so this is like a weigh-in update. I haven't really updated you guys on my weight. Um, so from December 31st to January 28th, I lost 2.1 pounds, which is awesome. I posted about it on Instagram, so you might have seen it there. I will also post a picture here so you can see kind of like a before and after. Um, I mentioned on Instagram, like it's not a lot of weight, but I can see a lot of inches and it's a great start to the year. Um, that being said, I'm not weighing myself for the rest of, well, for February. The month of January went really well. Um, on the 28th of January though, I weighed myself in again, but I took from December 28th to, was it, no, December, I can't remember, December 31st to January 28th, like the morning of, that was like my January weigh-in. And then from January 28th weigh-in to the last week of February, that will be February weigh-in. So um, when I weighed in on the 28th, I did gain 1.1, but like I said, I'm kind of just doing it every three to four weeks. I can't really explain, but anyways, um, I was up, but I'm not weighing myself, like I said, for the month of February, and I'm just trying to be more mindful. My lunch is burning on the stove, one sec. Okay, so I had to tend to my lunch. It wasn't burning, it was just overflowing. Anyways, what I'm trying to say is, no way in for February. I'm just trying to be, again, more mindful of what I'm eating. I'm gonna be 100% honest with you, last week was not good. Um, I know that if I would've weighed in this Thursday, it would've been a gain probably. I had loaded tacos or loaded nachos, um, Chinese food, I had some days where I binged, I went over in my weeklies, but um, Thursday everything reset. Um, I did go over my points a couple days this week, but I still have weekly, so that's fine. I'm sitting down for lunch. Oh, this is so hot. Okay, maybe this is not the best way to do this. Um, okay, let's start off with this first. Um, Everly sent me some of their drink mixes and I am going to try this one on camera. This one is Fruit Punch um, and then it helps for belly health. It is sugar-free, caffeine-free, gluten-free, keto, and natural, zero calories, zero points. Um, so I'm excited to try this. I'm just trying to read what it says. So treat your tummy well for best results, take two to three servings per day. Um, but anyways, they were kind enough to send me another two of these as well. Um, so they sent me three all together and I'm going to try them on camera or try this one on camera. It also says there's two billion probiotics, CFU probiotics. I don't know what that means, but anyways, so it's a probiotic supplement. I always struggle with my stomach. So anyways, one teaspoon for 16 ounces. Mmm, that is delicious. You can really taste the fruit punch in there. Okay, so that is bomb. Like, that's so good. It's all natural, which I love. Um, and if you don't know, I loved aspartame, I love diet pop, but I've been off diet pop for a while now, so I feel like this is just gonna help me get my water in. I struggle with water, so this is delicious. Um, if you guys haven't tried it, go ahead and try them out. 20 servings in this. I'm not too sure how much it is um, for US people. I know that for Canadian people, it's $18.95, I think, for a pouch, oops, on Amazon. But anyways, I'm very impressed, so 
I will be buying that again for sure and things like natural flavors or like water enhancers like I'm really picky on because sometimes they taste very artificial but this does not so zero points for that that is dang good and then I'm having let's see if I can do this now <laughs> I'm having a wonton soup I was craving wonton soup and I was like I don't have any broth to make it but I did have some built broth that I haven't tried yet so it is um, chicken built broth one of their packets is zero, not zero points, one point, and it has collagen in there as well, 10 grams of protein, um, so I decided to give that a try. I just, it says, I think it was eight ounces of water to mix it with, but I added a little bit more because I just wanted more broth, and then, um, so one point for that, and then I have, I don't know if you can see this, this is awkward. I have the chicken cilantro wontons in there, I have seven for two points, so this is a three point lunch. I don't know what else I'm gonna have. Um, I literally need to go shopping, so this is gonna be like whatever I have left in my fridge and pantry day. But I wanted to try this on camera because this is the first time I've tried the built broth. It looks really hot. Not bad. I think that obviously I put too much water in it. Um, I think that it would be much more flavorful if I did the eight ounces like I was supposed to, but like I said, I just wanted more broth. So I had a little bit left over in my packet because I didn't use the whole thing, which I probably should have. So I'm gonna mix it in there. Um, there's also veggies in there, um, just like carrots, peas, and corn. I didn't add too much because I'm gonna have peas and corn for dinner tonight. So anyways, let's just give this another try. Yeah, so I feel like if I didn't put a lot of water in there, it would be much more flavorful. Um, and I just like that it has collagen in there, so much protein. Um, so yeah, and then I'm gonna have one of these. This is gonna be really hot. Mm. It's really good. I don't know why I was craving wonton soup. Like, I'm not a wonton soup person, but mm. really good. Like I said, next time I make it, I'll probably put the right amount of water and it will be even better. So anyways, I'm going to eat my lunch, drink away on this delicious drink, ice cube, and then we'll see you guys later. All right guys, I am just downstairs doing some laundry and then I walk past my Bilt Bars. Um, I'm going to have the dark chocolate cookie dough Bilt Bar for five points. This has been one of my favorites and it's coming back in April, I think. So I'm gonna be stocking up. Um, honestly, five points, it's so worth it. If you haven't tried it, I would recommend it. Um, let me just get it out here and show you what it looks like. I did a taste test when it first came out, but look at that. So good. I'm trying to show you the, like, the cookie dough chunk pieces. Mm. So worth the five points. The texture is a little bit different than normal Bilt Bars, more like creamier, um, but seriously so good. One of my top flavors. One thing I will say though, when I got my first box, um, it had some of my bars didn't have as many cookie dough pieces, which I guess is normal, but I did contact customer service and they fixed that for me or they're going to fix that for me. Um, so they have really good customer service. If you guys ever have like any problems, um, just message them and they will fix the problem. They are also coming out with coconut brownie chunk. Five points. That's coming out Tuesday. Um, Tell... I can't remember. I'll post it here. But I haven't gotten mine yet. I'll let you guys know on Instagram what I think about it. Um, like I said, five points. Um, and I love coconut, so I feel like I'm gonna love this bar. So when they do launch from the 9th to the 12th, I think, um, they will be doing a promo, so 15% off site wide and then 10% off extra with my discount code. So if you guys wanna stock up on any other flavors, um, that is the time, but I'm going to eat this. I'm only sitting at eight points for today. I've done some laundry, cleaned up the house a bit. Um, I can't find my selfie stick, so my arm's getting sore, but I'm gonna eat this and then we'll see you guys back for dinner time. All right guys, so. I'm cooking dinner right now. Um, I also did some more laundry. I cleaned up the house a bit and I put on a print for the 3D printer. So if you can hear something, that's what it is. Um, I wasn't able to come on here and let you know what I had for a snack. Um, I will post the picture here. I had two points worth of good thins and then I had some of my grandma's um, canned eggplant. There is olive oil in there. I did pat it down, but I'm gonna count two points just to be safe because 
I didn't pat it down as much as I usually do because let's get real, the oil is good. Um, so I'm sitting at 12 points right now. I'm gonna forewarn you guys, I'm having a very carby dinner. Like I'm having pasta and peas and corn. And then I'm probably gonna have popcorn for a snack. Um, I know I'm gonna be over in points today, but I'm still gonna get my blue dot, but I'm just gonna let you guys know now if you're scared of carbs or I know I might get some comments that I'm having a lot of carbs today and that's fine. Like I know I am, but this is what I love about the WW program. I can still have things that I crave, that I love, um, and I really wanted a pasta dish tonight. And I'm kind of doing like my take on like a pasta carbonara. Is kind of a little bit different. Um, I use turkey bacon instead of real bacon. Um, so yeah, that's what I did, or that's what I'm doing right now. I think it's gonna come out to eight points, which is way less than the normal recipe that I usually um, use for pasta carbonara. So um, yeah, I'm going to finish cooking and then we'll see you guys back when it's all done. All right guys, my pasta is ready, it looks delicious. So I have the light rotini fiber gourmet pasta. I have four ounces, which I could have done way less. I should have, but that's fine. So four ounces is six points. I have um, a one and a half tablespoons of um, grated Parmesan light cheese in there. Probably actually a little bit less than that. Um, so that's one point. What I do is I grab my egg and then I add the Parmesan cheese, whisk it, um, or beat it together. And then when my pasta dish is ready, I just pour that over t the top. You gotta be careful because if you cook it in the pan, like it will turn into scrambled eggs. So um, I just take it off the pan and then mix it thoroughly and make sure I keep mixing. Two slices of smoked applewood turkey bacon for one point. So six points for the pasta, one for the turkey bacon, one for the Parmesan cheese. That's all that counts as points in here. So um, the other things are the corn and the peas for zero points. I add a little bit of a can't believe it's not butter. One egg for zero on blue and purple. And then I add in my CCB, which is cheese, chives, and bacon Epicure dip mix. And it adds so much flavor. That is zero points as well. And then salt and pepper, of course. And then some SPG seasoning. This is just like a table blend. Um, if I had like some fresh parsley, I would have put it on there, but that's fine. So eight points for this. Um, and this will put me at 20 points for the day. It is snack time. I'm getting ready to roll up in my comfy blanket, watch a TV show or a movie. Um, but anyways, what I do for my popcorn, I have 57 grams of popcorn kernels. I put it in my WW silicone microwavable popcorn maker. Um, and then I add some salt and one point's worth of, I can't believe it's not butter, and then just pop it in the microwave. It turns out so good. I usually, I wasn't adding butter before, but adding that little bit of butter, just there's so much more flavor. Um, so that is five points altogether for the popcorn kernels and the butter. Um, and then one point's worth of nutritional yeast. If you guys have been following me, you know that when I started my journey, or maybe it was like halfway into my journey, I loved popcorn and nutritional yeast. I just used my spray olive oil and then I put the nutritional yeast on top. Um, I do it in layers so I get like a little bit each layer. It's so good. Firstly, nutritional yeast and popcorn is like so good. And you guys all know that I love like my popcorn seasoning, but this is like just a really nice change. So, so this is a total of six points. That will put me at 26 out of 23 points, which is fine. Um, like I said, I know I had a lot of carbs today and that's fine. Honestly, throughout my whole journey, I ate carbs a lot and I still lost. Um, and then this morning when I had my, or this afternoon when I had my soup, I thought there was a lot of peas and corn in there, but literally when I was eating it after I was filming, there was like, not that much at all. It was mostly like beans and carrots, so that's good. I just thought I'd hop on here today and do a quick what I eat in a day. And like I said in the beginning of the video, it was like a clean my pantry slash fridge kind of day. Um, I need to go grocery shopping. So, but I'm going to stop talking because I want to enjoy this popcorn. I'm going to let you guys go. Thank you guys so much for watching and we'll see you guys in the next one. Mm -hmm.